So I want you to think about somebody at home. Who can you dedicate your learning to today? Seth Abbott was the first teacher in the country to receive full certification as a high reliability teacher, HRT. He is so good in the classroom, the Marzano High Reliability Network asked him to write a book about how he did it and what it means. There are certain things that basically they've identified this saying, hey, if you, if you are a high quality school, uh, if you're a high quality educator, um, in order to make sure that our students are able to achieve success, these are the things that you need to have in your toolkit, your teacher toolkit. There are three levels teachers must pass to become certified. They are identified as effective use of instructional strategies, student learning, and valid and rigorous feedback. There's always going to be things that you're, you have to work on. Even right now, I mean, 14 years in, there's so many things that I could be doing better. In addition to submitting measurable data, candidates even videotape themselves in the classroom. All their work is reviewed by outside evaluators. And it forces you to kind of be really reflective on, hey, how am, I, how am I implementing these practices in my classroom? Are these things that I do on a daily basis? Um, are there holes that, you know, and, and, and as you go through, you start to realize, oh, wait, yeah, there's, you know, there's this hole that I'm not really all that strong with. Abbott's classroom doesn't look a thing like the old model of desks lined up in a row and students taking notes. Research has shown that kids do better and learn more when they are connected with their teacher and classmates. I'm making sure that my students are comfortable in class. I'm making sure that they feel uh, that they feel valued, that they're engaged. So it's kind of this like holistic approach to students and to, and to instruction. And so that's what I'm doing with the HIT program. The room is different, and so too is the teacher's approach. You, you gotta make sure that you're you're providing uh, timely feedback to students. You're providing them proficiency scales. That when you're doing tests and doing assessments, you're doing specific kinds of assessments. High reliability teachers and schools are always looking for ways to improve. That's why WPS is so committed to the process. It requires you to kind of turn the mirror inward and ask when you have one of those goals that doesn't come, um, you don't hit your mark. You really have to turn that mirror inward and ask what role do I play in this particular operation. It's always trying to get better. What can I do to be a better teacher for, for these students?